How are you? こんにちは皆さん、お元気ですか Today, アニメスビデオ No.16 and the theme is about お風呂 Bath, Japanese bath お風呂 Well, I live in Spain and now it's January and it's very very cold here too This year, it's It's really very, very cold. Then, o f u r o is one of the things that I miss the most of Japan. Because here in Spain, weather is usually very good and the food is also very delicious here. Well, some of the food I miss Japanese food too, but here the Spanish food is very delicious. But o f u r o is that something that I can't. Bathe here, it's very different. So, I'm going to explain about this ofuro now. And this culture of ofuro began about in the 6th century, so long, long ago. But that time, not only to wash the bodies, and that was to purify the bodies, the, to, to purification. But、uh, From the 16th century, the bathing was very, very popular among all the people in Edo Jidai. In that period, usually men and women bathed together. But after a while, mm, 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 it was prohibited to,、mm, to bathe together. But nowadays, usually the men and women are separated. We bathe. But there are some Places that men and women can bathe together publicly. But in the family, husband and wife can bathe together. Here you can see Japanese style ofuro, bathroom. Specifically, it is a type of bath which originated as a short. Steep side wooden bath tube. But nowadays, they're usually made out of plastic or stainless steel. And these ofuro are different from the conventional Western bath tube by being of a deeper construction, about 60 centimeters. So you can feel much warmer here. The way how to bathe in Japan is quite different, so I'm gonna explain you. Well, at first, you must take a shower outside of the tube. Well, the shower is the whole room, by the way, not just a small cabin. So you have to clean yourself, and then after, You washed your body, then you can get into the tube, which has already been filled with hot water. You lie there and soak for a while, then you relax. And after that, maybe you can get out of this tube, and maybe you can wash a little bit more. And after, If you want, you can repeat again in the, and you can get into the bath tube so you can relax. So, for us, to be inside of bath tube is just for relaxing. And this bath tube, I told you that it is quite deep, so it's so nice to be. In the hot water for some time. And this water must be very clean all the time. That's why we must wash our body first. Because this water in the bath tube is not only for you, it's for the whole family. So after you, somebody else is gonna bathe here. Or maybe You can compare, you can, you can bathe with somebody else. Maybe brothers, sisters, or your mother, your father. So the 
bath time in Japan is relaxing time. We Japanese people love hot water. And this hot water in bath tube is around 40 to 42 centigrade. A modern ofuro may be made of acrylic. And the top of the range models fitted with a recirculation system called oidaki, which filters and reheats the water. The system is connected with the hot water heater, maybe gas. So when you feel, oh, I don't feel very, very hot now, so I want the water to be hotter, then I just can push this button and the water is going to be hot again. Now I'm going to talk about sento. Sento, public bathhouse. Well, this kind of sen, it means like coins, but the small coins, it's like a cent. To, this is you, hot water. So, hot water that we can pay with our some cents, then we go in in the bath. And there's another word, furoya. And this is the synonym of sento, furoya. And furo, you know, this is ofuro, bath. Ya, this is very useful word to learn because ya, this is like a shop or the store. Well, if you know hana, hana, this is flower, hana. And if you say hana ya, hana ya, that goes, that flower shop and niku niku this is meat niku ya the butcher butcher and sakana fish sakana ya the fish shop so furoya furoya so this is the place where we can go to enter furo here in this picture, you can see very typical building of sento. And this sento is Japanese communal bathhouse or public bathhouse, where customers pay for entrance. And traditionally, there were lots of, lots of ofuroya-san or sento all over Japan, but nowadays there are not so many. It's quite a pity. Here in Sento, it is just as the same way in each house, you have to wash your body before entering the hot water. So, like here in this picture, there are lots of showers with mirror, then you can wash here. I love all kinds of baths, but onsen, this is my favorite. Well, onsen, this kanji, the first one, on, we can also read atatakai. Atatakai, it means, oh, it's warm, nice and warm. And this sen, we can also pronounce izumi, spring. So, onsen, this is hot spring. And oke, okay, this is something we use when we bathe. Okay, this is a kind of small bucket or small pail. Okay, usually it was made of wooden, wood, but nowadays it is plastic. Okay, and this mark, if you see this mark in Japan, or on a map or, or something like that, this means this is hot spring. This is a picture of onsen, hot spring. This term also extended to cover the bathing facilities and traditional inns frequently situated around a hot spring. 
In Japan, there are lots of volcanoes. So, as a volcanically active country, Japan has thousands of onsens scattered throughout all over its major islands. Traditionally, onsens were located outdoors, although many in have now built indoor bathing facilities as well, like you see here in this picture. And also you can see oke, this kind of bucket or recipient that you can use to wash your body. And there are lots of sightseeing hot spring towns in Japan. And we Japanese people love to go to onsen. To enter onsen, usually men and women are separated. For example, here this is the, the picture of entrance. In the left part, in the orange one, it says you. You means hot water. And the kanji of onna, this is women. And the blue one, with the kanji of otoko, men. So, men and women entered separately. You can use this kind of very small chair to sit down when you are washing your body. And you use this oke to help you wash your, for example, wash your face or to rinse your body. There are lots of varieties of rot uh, onsen, but one of them is rotenburo. Rotenburo. This second like is ten, it means paradise. Paradise or the heaven. So rotenburo, this is onsen, but in outdoor. Mm, mm, Usually, the beginning of onsen, it was all rotenburo. It was all outdoor. But nowadays, there are indoor onsen too. But still, there are lots of rotenburo. And it's very, very nice because maybe in the winter time it's very cold and your, your face can maintain very cool, but the body is very warm and nice. Really hot, but the face it can be very cool with cool air. This is the picture of Rotenburo. Rotenburo is onsen but in outdoor. It's spectacular because you can enjoy the, the sight of the Japanese garden. Here you can see the other rotenburo in autumn. It's very beautiful because you can watch these kind of trees, the red colored leaves. Or we say this is koyo, the changing color of the leaves in autumn. And it's very beautiful season to go to onsen or in the springtime maybe you can uh, you are bathing under sakura trees sakura is cherry blossoms this word saru this means monkey makaka makako saru here this is in kanji saru here in hiragana saru and here also in katakana, because nowadays all animals' names and plant names are written in katakana in encyclopedia. So three ways are correct. So this is monkey. In Japan, monkeys love bathing in hot water, onsen, because onsen is a very natural one. And in the winter time in Japan, it's very, very cold, especially in the center and in the north of Japan. You see, 
it's snowing here, so it's so cold. And the monkeys are in the onsen, so it's very, very hot and nice. Well, this kind of thing is very, very special. Because if you are in this hot spring, but outdoor and it's snowing, your face is quite cold or cool, quite cold, but the body is very hot, so it's very comfortable. In Nagano Prefecture, there's a very famous park called the Jigokudani Monkey Park, where there are lots of monkeys, wild monkeys, and you can see or you can watch how they bathe in hot spring. But it's not permitted that you feed any monkeys or you touch them. Only you, you can just watch them. The anime I'm going to present you today is Terumae Romae. Terumae Romae. All in katakana. Terumae Romae. Because the title is from here. Terumae Romae. It means hot spring of Rome. Or yeah, Teruma, Terumae Romae. Well, this one, the first, first was a manga, as usual. So it was from 2008 till 2013. That was in manga. And this manga won the very special prize. In 2012, there were two things. In 2012, there was a dorama. So this is movie movie with a real person, real real persons, real actors and actresses, and the main character was Abe Hiroshi, or maybe you know Hiroshi Abe, and that was very, very good one, and it was very popular in Japan. And, and, and the, in the same year, 2012, there was also anime. And anime, that was only three chapters, but that was really, really interesting, and I I laughed a lot. So it's it's very, very, very interesting one. The idea of this story is genius because there are two cultures that love so much the bath, and one the ancient Rome. They loved spa, right? And Japanese people also love spa and all kind of bathing, the bath. So, well, the story began in 128 in the ancient Rome. And there, there was a man, architecture, and he was bathing and he was in the spa. But he discovered, very accidentally, under this, this spa, under the water, there was a hidden tunnel, and that that leads him to the different place. But this different place was in Japan. That was Japan in the 21st century. So there is beyond the space, Rome and Japan, and from 128, the year 128, to the 21st century. So all very, very strange things. This Roman architecture's name was Lucius. And Lucius, when he, the first he came to Japan, and he realized from the water, boom, then it was in Sento, so public bathhouse, with the other, other men there, over there. So, oh, what happened? Ooh. So it was so strange, and and I think you laugh a lot watching this this anime. And there, he learns a lot about sento and ofuro, the Japanese private bathroom, and also about onsen, 
this hot spring, and many many things, and you can learn with in in this anime too, and so there's many many things happens, and it's very very uh, just so amazing, and also very um, so nice. So so you laugh a lot. I loved this anime so much, and also I watched the Abe Hiroshi's film movie. And what, that was also very good too. And when Lucius went back to Rome, as he was architecture, he made his own termas, inspired by Japanese onsen, Japanese many many Japanese Japanese culture. This anime was very very interesting, and you laugh a lot. I hope you can see this anime or the picture, the movie picture. And I love, as I told you before, I love onsen. I love hot spring in Japan. I hope you can go to Japan and you can enjoy also this onsen. I think you love it. If you like this video, please. Please, please give me a like, and if you share my videos with your friends, that will help me a lot. And if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel too. 今日もここまで見てくださってどうもありがとうございます。ぜひチャンネル登録といいねボタン、そしてお友達と私のシェア、私のビデオをシェアしていただけたらとても嬉しいです。ぜひお願いします。ではまた会いましょう。じゃあねバイバイ。